it. Safe Slick Who Done showed up. Y'all come on in and get you a cold one. Don't mind all the noise. Damn government oh. done built a road all up in our backyard. Ain't that something? Hey, Lulu, you about done? I still have no idea why you want this old boat all clean when it ain't even got no engine. <laughs> Women will never understand the love of the fishing, will they, Cephas? No, nope, not, not at all, never. Hey, but guess what? I still got that sack of movies I found over yonder when I was scraping coons off the road. Well, it wouldn't have been right to watch them without you, so we waited on you. Yeah. All right, fine. We had a little financial hiccup. But I done got me part-time work over at the medical college. Now, electricity's back on. <laughs> I'll have you know I'm acing that sleep study, oh. Mr. NASA. So what y'all say to watching some more movies? Yeah. Oh, now you're uh -huh. interested in what I got to say, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. Hey, Lulu. Yeah? You be a sweet little cupcake and make us some lunch. Mm. What you want? We still got swirling tots, ain't we? Yeah. Mm. Lou, you ain't lived until you've had a squirrel and tater tot sandwich. Pure heaven. Come on, let's head on inside. Hoo wee! Looky, cold bear waiting on us. IPA. I reckon that stands for it's pretty awesome. Mmm. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. Get off my porch. Yeah, get, get, get off my porch. Well, just cause it was two in the morning didn't mean she couldn't be a little friendlier. <laughs> here, make yourself easy. Watching football. Watching football. K State's getting their shit kicked in. When are you coming home? What time tonight? Shall I wait up? Yeah, Nothing. Oh, shit. I gotta go. Someone's at the front door. All right, I gotta go. Bye. I love you too. Bye. Hello. Greetings and salutations. My name is Mary, and I'm selling Adventure Girl cookies. Would you like to buy a box or two? Adventure Girls, huh? Well... Yeah. They're delicious. Yeah, I'm sure they're great. You know, I just bought some candy bars from the fat kid down the street, so... You don't know what you're missing. Besides, it's going to a great cause. Oh, yeah, what's that? If we sell enough cookies, our squad gets to buy new uniforms. <laughs> Well, you know, I think I'll pass. Maybe next time. I don't think you understood me. Besides, we really need new uniforms. You'd be doing us a really big favor. Well, Mary, I'm not interested. Try the neighbors. I'll be back. OK, well, still won't be interested. I know. Your friend Mary was already here. And I told her the same thing I'm going to tell you. Ready? Not interested. So please, just go mug someone else. <laughs> You're funny. Mary said you had a good sense of humor. Oh, really? She put you up to this? All right, look. I told her I wasn't interested, and I'm serious, all right? Aww. Don't give me that sad face shit. Uh, you just said a naughty word. Yeah, and you're going to hear a lot more if you don't get the hell off my porch. Where are your parents, anyway? Okay, cute. Just 
Have a nice day. Is this a joke? It's 10.30 at night. <laughs> We're light sleepers. <laughs> okay. Good night. Kid, get your foot out of my door. <laughs> okay, look, you little rodents. Stop here again and I'm calling the cops, you understand? There's a curfew, right? Curfew? Good night. No, they've been out and about all night. What time did you say? Since 10.30. It's almost midnight. That's pretty late. Pretty late? Pre okay, don't you think it's a little strange? Come on, who the hell sells cookies, let alone buys cookies at midnight? No one. Well, sir, they are delicious. Wait, what did you just say? I just bought a box an hour ago. I really hit the spot. I got the munchies late at night. You're serious? So you don't even do anything? Well, until I get another complaint, no. Oh, you're telling me I'm the first one to complain? Maybe you should just buy a box of cookies. They'll probably leave you alone. Unbelievable. two little girls with a baseball bat before. But I'm willing to give it a try.
not falling for that trick. Now, where's your little friend? <laughs> oh, it's all fun and games, right? <laughs> See how much fun you have in juvie. Oh, you think this is funny? Your girl's in a lot of trouble, you know. Oh, honey, thank God you're home. What are you doing? What am I doing? These little cretins invaded our house. They've been trying to sell me cookies all night. One of them shot me with a poison arrow. I can barely see! Oh, sweetie. Do you mean these delicious cookies I bought on the way home? These sweet little girls were selling them at the store. I thought I'd surprise you. I ate a whole box on the way home. You girls really know how to make them. Thanks, Mrs. Marshall. <laughs> Mr. Marshall, but you left us no choice. Why are you doing this? We told you. <laughs> we need new uniforms. I'll see you now. Open wide. And once again today, our top story are these delicious cookies. We take the story live to the streets to get some public reaction. Thanks, Rich. I'm here with Neil Marshall, a local man who has bought a record amount of cookies, an outstanding 300 boxes of them. Pretty amazing. Thanks to patrons like Mr. Marshall, the Adventure Girls have been able to buy brand new uniforms. Neil, what do you think about these great cookies? They're delicious. I can't live without them. Well, he said it. Back to you, Rich. Get Hello, sir. It's a beautiful day. I'm selling candy bars so our troop can go to next year's jamboree in Washington, D.C. No, thanks, kid. We already bought pizzas from the kid down the street, so thanks anyway. They're delicious. <laughs> Man, them chicks is always hitting me up outside the liquor store. Mm -hmm. Of course, I hit on them too for Paris ain't around. Don't tell nobody. Hey, Lulu, can you get me cold beer? Get it yourself, bitch. I'm busy. <laughs> busy with what? I'm holding me a seance. Seance? Ain't that a singer? Mm -hmm. No, silly. It's like you're communicating with the dead. Oh, hell's bells. Well, if you get old Aunt Lavonia, you find out where Uncle Cletus hid the lottery winner. <laughs> All right, let's see what's next, Cephas. Divination. You know, I weren't no good at divination in school. It's good thing you did my arithmetic for me. <laughs> you got the palsy or something? Here, put that in the DVD player. What?
do you want? Hello? I'm looking for Audra Lacombe. Look, I I'm not going to buy anything you're selling, so why don't you just go away? Oh, no, no, I'm not selling anything. I'm here for a reading. Oh, no, no, it's late. Come back another time. Please? I have money. Okay. Why, hello, child. Won't you come in? Hello, I'm Carrie Ann Norman. Are you Audra Lacombe? Why, yes, I am. And it is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I'm sorry. Um, I don't mean to intrude. It's just I've tried calling several times and your phone's been disconnected. Oh, well, as you can see... You're moving. My, my sister has fallen ill. Please follow me. So, Miss Norman. Please call me Carrie Ann. Oh, all right then, Carrie Ann. Now, how may I assist you? I was told you could communicate with the spirits. Well, yes, that is one of my many talents. <laughs> oh, have you lost someone you're close to recently? Yes, ma'am. My grandfather. Oh, and you wish to speak with him. Well, channeling a spirit is it's very, very different than performing a simple reading. It's extremely taxing on me, both both emotionally and physically. As a result, I, well, I usually charged more for this type of service. I understand. I'll pay whatever you ask. Well then, shall we begin? May I use your restroom really quick? Oh. Oh, of course, dear. It's uh, down the hall, first door to the left. Shit. I do apologize. Oh, no, no, no apologies necessary, child. Shall we begin? Guardians of the spirit realm, when the witching bell strikes true, bring forth. I I'm sorry, what's your grandfather's name? Howard. Bring forth Howard to me, all other souls that hear this call are not welcome in this place. Only the one known as Howard may enter sacred space. Hear these words. Hear this cry. Spirit from the other side. I call to thee. I summon thee. Cross now the great divide. Beloved spirit, Howard. Wishes us well, come into the room when I ring the bell. Hey, hey. Who are 
are you? And what do you want? I told you. No, 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 no. You're not here to speak to your grandfather. And what are you doing with a mojo protection bag in your purse? How do you know what's in my purse? I'm a psychic, remember? If that were true, I wouldn't be here. Yeah, well, why are you here? I didn't want to come. They made me. Who made you? Damn it, if you don't speak to me, Jacob I swear- Jacob Bullard. Who? Annabelle Gautier. Look, I don't know who Christopher August, William John Flower, Hannah Rose, Joseph Bast, Elizabeth Chadwick, Caleb DeClout. Do you remember them? No, I don't. I don't remember them. Well, you've spoken with all of them. At least, that's what you told their grieving wives, husbands, sons, Okay, daughters. you know what? I think you should go. We aren't going anywhere. What? What? What, what do you mean, we?
if and that's what they mean by getting filled up with the spirit, I don't want no part of it. <laughs> you think you can make a little more racket in there? Well, if you want possum pot pie, you know I gotta bait the trap, dummy. And he's got a fine point. Them possums love refried beans. Who'd have thunk it? Follow. Follow who? Me. All right. Now, are we close? The uh, sun's going down. Not far from here. Are you scared already? <laughs> no. I just didn't know that we'd be hiking for this long. Come on, it's like a 40 minute hike. You spend longer than that on the treadmill. Why do you have to film me? Because in your 25 years on this planet, Brian Thomas, you have never been camping. I need to document this so that our grandchildren can laugh at you one day. You want to document me getting eaten by bugs and shitting in the woods? It's historical. I'm sorry, was that historical or hysterical? Because I think this is already hilarious and I can't wait to watch it later and just laugh at you. Goodbye, civilization. Stay to the left. Hey, hold on a second. Uh, nature calls. I can't believe that actually makes sense now. <laughs> What you doing? Oh, <laughs> are you, buddy? You're such a jerk. Chill, chill. Fuck. Keep going. You know, next time you take a piss, I'm going to videotape it and I'm going to put it all over YouTube. So and I'm dramatic. Make sure your mom sees yeah. it. Well, don't sneak up on me. You being manly? Maybe. <laughs> I told you to bring hiking boots. I don't know why you wore those shoes. Here, here, come on. This will this will make it better for you. You'll love it. Ah. Oh. <laughs> nice. Cheers. Luxurious vacation. Pull out that side. Come on. Camping expert over here. Where are the pins? I don't think you're gonna do this. I think. Let's see. Come that on. I'm gonna look forward to you cooking dinner. Yeah. Over the fire that I make. Yeah. Sure. Come on. Yeah. See. You should have let. Oh, oh. What? What? So what are you gonna make me for dinner? Hot shot. Nothing. Nothing. Oh god, it's gonna be really lucky. lonely in the tent all by myself Who's tonight. Lucky. No Come asshole on. boyfriend there. Lucky. Come on. This is nice. Yeah. Do you uh do you think that we're gonna sleep good tonight? Oh yeah. Uh, so, how often do you come up here? Like, what is it called? The uh, lamp. Song? The lamp light woods. Since I was a kid, mm -hmm. my dad used to take me up here almost every weekend in the summers to go camping. That's cool. Do you know why it's called the lamp light woods? Why? Legend has it that. If you get lost in these woods at night, 
you will eventually see a light. It looks kind of like um, a gas lantern, like the old westerny type lights, kind yeah. of a warm glow. Mm -hmm. No one knows where it comes from, but the people who see it are compelled to follow it. And sometimes they're never heard from again. That's bullshit, Aaron. <laughs> Apparently, about 75 years ago, a little girl named Emily Budd and her little brother Daniel wandered off in these woods. They disappeared. Nobody could find them. Three days later, they find Emily alone underneath this huge oak tree in the middle of a field. Her body is covered in hundreds of scratches and her eyes are gone. Jesus. Oh. All she would say was, follow, 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 over and over again in this little whisper. They never found her brother. And she spent the rest of her life in Beacon Crest, that mental institution out by Cherry Hill. My dad used to tell me that story when I was a kid. And his dad used to tell it to him. It's probably just a ghost story that they told their kids to keep them from wandering out in the woods. But it worked. My dad said, so long as you have your own light in the lamplight woods, you'll be safe. And we have our trusty flashlight right here. See? Ghost story. Love story. Ghost story. Love story. Yeah. You okay? I'm fine, you know, just uh, a little bit creeped out. Oh, baby. Okay, how, how about this? We, uh, have one more marshmallow that I have burnt straight to shit, and then we'll go to bed, okay? Bed? Uh-huh. Okay. okay. <laughs> Just make a mind little video, come on. No fucking way. Come on. No. no. That's why you brought the video camera. It's the perfect spot, man. Turn it off. The battery is gonna die. No, you don't get anything until you turn the camera off. Fine, 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 fine. <laughs> Aaron! Oh, this isn't funny anymore! You took the flash. I'm gonna use your battery on your camera. Aaron! This isn't funny. Fuck! Aaron! Aaron! Are you out there? Fuck it. I I'm going back to the car. Fuck. Aaron?
fuck. Aaron? <laughs> Jesus! Ah! Ah! Oh! <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, fuck. Aaron. That right there is further proof as to why you don't never take no woman camping. Uh, the Lulu camping, no. Well, yeah, but Lulu ain't like other women. I mean, besides, she didn't hear me no way. She too busy listening to her technological music. What time is it? Which time zone? Uh, hey, we can get one more in before I go to work. Let's see what we got. Modern grumble. What the hell's a grumble? Mm-hmm. You grumble a lot. Maybe it's about you. Mm -hmm. well, let's find mm -hmm. out. Thank you. 
can't speak or won't. Doesn't matter, I guess. The mouth is for other things, yes? Do you know what you are? Besides the obvious, I mean. You're a poet.
mother me, comfort me, fury, toad falls into stone. Say the mantra. Taught me as a boy in the hills. I am antigen. Same dang thing happened to me one night drinking shine. The whole buzzer tried to come out of my head. More like your head. At least that's how it felt. Hey, you gotta take me to work. Damn it. Well, I get my license back in three months. Don't think for a second that that hey. Fiero ain't mine. Hi. What? Yeah. Can you give me a ride too? How come? Because I got my pole fitness class. Well, do I get to stay and watch? Yeah. <laughs> All right, folks, well, we got to be wrapping it up. So uh, y'all come on back another time and join us for more movies. Have a good one.